Hey everybody, Johnny Vanderford here, Lorraine County Community College's microelectronics manufacturing program, our bachelor's degree that we hold here at our community college. What I've got in my hand right now, I'm gonna bring this right up to the camera there. That's a silicon wafer, you see that? This is a wafer that's filled with integrated circuits. Um, we just got the news this week with the big television announcement today that Intel, is coming to Ohio. They are building a $20 billion plant in Lincoln, Ohio, over by where Newark is, um, where, uh, well, Lincoln County, I think is where it is, in Newark, Ohio, um, that's going to have uh, two buildings to build semiconductors and a semiconductor fabrication plant to house about 3,000 jobs. Exciting! Battling the chip shortage right there. Um, this is actually something that we currently train in as part of our associate's degree, ironically. Um, so we're going to be reaching out to Lincoln Electric, but I thought I'd make a quick video. Some people are just like, what's a chip? How does a chip exactly work with it on there? Isn't the chip, like for us, it, like normally what we teach is a lot of printed circuit boards. So we teach like soldering and how to solder components down to printed circuit boards. But the actual chips as part of like the chip shortage. One of the big things that's causing that is lack of ability to produce chips within the United States. And the chips actually come from these silicon wafers. Now these actual wafers themselves, um, the one that I've got in my hand right now is actually quite small compared to what Intel works with. In fact, the one, this one right here is more of a demonstration piece, um, actually is about five inches in diameter, five or six inches in diameter. If you look really up close to it, there are a whole truckload of little tiny squares. If you notice, um, I am not touching it with my hands. I am using a pair of tweezers, a pair of uh, uh, wafer tweezers, holding it by the primary flat. Um, in general, skin oils are bad for silicon-based products so of all sorts with there. Um, and so we try to avoid uh, putting skin oils, even with our nitrile gloves, working within the class 10,000 clean room environment that I'm in right now, all gowned up. I am gowned up wearing class 10,000 clean room gowning attire. Normally you wear a bunny suit and uh, with a hood, uh, two pairs of booties, everything like that. Uh, much, much more uh, uh, clean room protection uh, in a like, more like a class 10 clean room, which the classification of a clean room is kind of an old number, means so many particles that are half a micrometer in size per cubic foot of air that you've got. So a class 10,000 clean room has at most in a cubic foot of airspace, 10,000 or less dust particles uh, per cubic foot that are half of a micrometer in size or bigger, right? Um, and so that's a lot of the, this is a lot of what Intel is going to be looking for going forward is people who are trained to work within a clean room, which is literally what we started in as part of our associate's degree week one, day one. But what I wanted to do was take this wafer and actually blow it up kind of big on the, uh, on the compound microscope. It's a metrology measure scope that we've got right there. And let me kind of zoom into that and check that out. This wafer itself, actually has a whole bunch of artwork and features on it that are over at the microscopic level. Now to put this into perspective right here, what I'm gonna do is turn on a scale, all right? So here's a scale from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. That's, that's 100 micrometers. Can you all see that? That is 100 micrometers. And I'm gonna try to focus and change my brightness just a little bit here so that you can better see the uh, the architecture, because that's really kind of what this is, is like really more architecture more than anything with that, right? That's the scale of architecture. Now, right now, this probably looks like, this, this area that's up here probably looks like somewhat of a blur. So let's actually zoom in just a little bit closer, change my scale here to twice the amount zoomed in, and check that out. I've got wire bond pads on the left-hand side, and a whole truckload of tiny lines. Let's zoom in one more step again to a total of 200x magnification. It's such high up in terms of the magnification areas that all the way across from the left-hand side here to the right-hand side, those are all, um, those are, that is 100 micrometers. Now to put that into context here, that 100 micrometers, let me see if I can, change the brightness just a little bit here to increase how good that is. See all those lines, see the, see the definition that's on there? All of those lines that are on there are small aluminum wires. Now to put this into perspective, 
the distance between the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this scale is about twice to maybe three times the average thickness of a human hair is what this is. That's around how thick this actually is. And look at all the detail that goes into this. Look at the, look at the, the, look at the dimensions that are on here. The top has these thin traces, these very thin, and I mean, like if I digitally zoom in to this part of it right there, you can kind of see these things in a little bit uh, fuzzier detail with there, but these things right there, they're not more than maybe like, you know, five or four micrometers wide in terms of how wide each one of the space, each one of these actual lines are. But even if you look at something that's around here, there are additional things inside. This is a chip, what, what most people will actually call an integrated circuit, an IC. And that's because the actual, the actual parts of the functioning parts of this chip are integrated down within the layers inside of the silicon, not just on top. It's not really necessarily an additive process, although there is certainly additive parts to it, but this is more built internally, layer internal, and then they add another layer on top, then they build inside of that one, then they lay another adder, layer, lay another uh, part of it on top of it as well. We'll kind of come up to the top part of it. There we've got a whole truck, well, that's probably a whole bunch of digital signals that are happening with it on there. But holy cow, look at all of the details that are found within here. Let me find a nice area. I'm gonna look at this part of it right there and I'm gonna zoom in again to a total of 500X magnification for this here. And take a look at this folks, holy cow. Look at all the things happening that are on here, right? You've got stuff happening on the upper level that's here. You've got stuff happening on the lower level that's here. There's a whole truckload of things that are all kind of happening all at one time. And go back to 20X. I kind of like that view. It's got good definition to it on there and everything like that. But yeah, that is that is an integrated circuit in terms of what that, those are the chips that Intel is going to be producing. And that's actually what we train our students to work on and work with and work in an environment involved with there, literally starting within the first year, the first week of the first year of the semester. We bring you into the clean room here and train you in how to work within a class 10,000 clean room environment. Intel is going to be a little bit cleaner with it on there, but you're gonna be walking in through that door with a gist of what it is that you're doing with it on there, while additionally learning how to do in our clean room, photolithographic processing, thin film sputtering, chemical handling, including hydrofluoric acid. Here we've got our sputtering system. There we've got our thin film uh, metrology area. There we've got our mask aligner with it here. All kinds of stuff. We're really excited over here at Lorain County Community College. I, I personally am really excited. You know, it's one of those things to where we have companies in our area that do thin film processing. We've got like Genvac, uh, uh, Visimax, Hana Micro Display, one of the big ones with it on there. They have a really cool LCD manufacturing laboratory, really worth checking out. Laboratory manufacturing floor space. But it's always been one of those things where it's like Intel has always just kind of been, they're all the way on the West Coast. But now they're going to be here. Students at the college actually have a chance to get trained up to work in a clean room and go work for Intel, which will be just down the street from where we are, within the neighborhood, within the state-based neighborhood at least. That's legitimately exciting. That's like very legitimately exciting for me at least on there. So yeah, anyway, I uh, just wanted to do a quick update with that on there. More to come out of Lorain County Community College's microelectronics manufacturing program. I'll leave some uh, information in terms of where to find more info with this on their website, that kind of stuff on there. All right, folks, we'll see you later on that one. Bye-bye.